I love this crowd. How are you guys doing tonight? start us off with a short story. Can I tell a story to you guys? Is that okay? Yes? <laughs> one day, one day I remember it is my mother's call for freedom. She just walked into the kitchen as my dad was washing dishes. My brother, sister, and I were eating a snack quietly at the countertop. That was our house back then, quiet, real picture perfect like. She calmly poured a glass of milk, took one sip, and poured the rest on the floor. My mouth dropped as my father screamed, what the fuck are you doing? She tore into the fridge, tears rolling down her cheeks, my father frantically trying to close the refrigerator door, whatever my mother got her hands on, she poured. She dropped, and we just sat there, stunned. See, this is my first memory of freedom. Or I guess the woman fighting for something other than the white picket fence laid out for us. That's the story. Yeah, that's the only story I can think about right now. My mother's frantic bouts for freedom. And as I walk to this kitchen, I can't help but cry at this pathetic picture. This is not a perfect kitchen. This is a kitchen where black men wash dishes on Saturday afternoons, where men do the work because they can be expendable. And as I am pouring this milk, you don't even notice me there. I can't help but want to rip us and complete us at the same time. Either one or neither one would suit this emotion. I take a long sip of my glass of milk and don't fighting back the tears. I can feel the glass tremble in my hands, and I thought to myself how much I envied my mother's revolution, especially when it wasn't directed at me. A flood of fear and freedom relinquished itself inside me, and I was ready to pound that glass on the floor, but for some reason, I did it. Can you stop washing the dishes, I said. And he turns and asked if I was crying, lip quivered and crumbled. And can you, I said crying, I really need a rocking back and forth in the epicenter of what I didn't want to fall in, I cried. See, I didn't have the same strength as her. I couldn't hold myself together. I looked up vaguely, seeing three bar stools completely empty at our kitchen island. And I smiled at the emptiness of those stools, ignoring his pestering prod to diagnose my current condition, my mother, my mother, my mother. See, she, she had something to get free for. So there ain't no use in crying over spilled milk. Okay.